SpongeBob, Sponge Out of Water. An animated cartoon, I think from Odeon, I believe. I've never in my life seen any Spongebob film footage or movie or TV show or whatever they're doing with this. So I went in this film as a complete newbie. I've never, I never knew what this guy was or what he's, what this film's about. So my opinions are based upon a fresh look. And uh, it reminded me of, once again, 1960s material. I saw that when I watched this, I was thinking of the early Flintstones. And I mean, if you've seen the early Flintstones or the early uh, 1950s, 1960s Flintstones, um, Flint Bugs Bunny cartoons, and you saw them smoking cigarettes and behaving in ways that were absolutely um, racist beyond belief. This rem kind of reminds me of that because it's like a, it's like a children's cartoon, but a little bit more grown up than it should be. And um, as recommending it, um, if you're into that kind of thing, if you're into studying animation or you're following these characters, yeah, go ahead and see it. The children that were there, they laughed their freaking heads off, especially at the end. Not so much at the beginning. A lot of restless kids in there. But uh, the children enjoy it very much. Uh, so your kid probably would too. I didn't find the humor that funny and I got bored in many places, especially around any of the restaurant scenes. The crab burger. Crab burger restaurant scenes, I guess it was. There is a, um, a chase scene in this film. They're trying to find who took the crab burger, I guess it was, recipe. And it leads them into a 3D world when they leave their ocean world. They go into our world, they're, they become 3D. I didn't like the fact I was forced to buy a 3D ticket. I hate 3D movies. And I hate wearing those stupid glasses. Uh, I had to see this film to be able to criticize it. Uh, there's this long fight with an Antonio Banderas character who plays a pirate who stole a crab cake recipe and he's making a lot of money off this. And uh, eventually they get it back and head back into the ocean, start up the restaurant again by use of a time machine. Yeah, this is a. You can classify SpongeBob SquarePants as a another uh, time travel movie it's set in a set in a long list of time travel movies which began last year January I think maybe last year time travel movies oh yeah and as my recommendation yeah if you like the cartoon I don't I didn't like it I thought I thought it was okay but I just didn't understand a lot of references to their their previous show or to what they do in their show, it didn't make any sense to me.